everybody, it's Amy from CraftyMcFangirl.com. Thanks for joining me for another Star Wars inspired craft. Today we're going to be making a Death Star candle. You can find links for all the materials you will need for this project in the description below the video, both on YouTube and at CraftyMcFangirl.com. You will need microwavable soy wax, disposable mixing cups, a Death Star silicone mold, silver pigment powder, black food coloring also works, candle wicks, and a piece of thick wire or bamboo skewer. I tried this project with regular candle wax and microwavable wax. You can use either kind. I found that the microwavable wax was much faster and easier to work with. Measure out the wax chips and melt them in the microwave according to the instructions on the package. I melted my wax in 15 second bursts, stirring in between. Watch carefully to make sure the wax does not get too hot and start boiling over. Next it's time to prep your mold. At first I was going to put a wick inside the mold, close it up and I was ready to go. But then I realized that the Death Star would appear upside down when it was finished. The bottom part of the mold is really the top of the candle because it has the super laser concave dish on it. Put your mold together and add a thick piece of wire or a bamboo skewer in the hole before you pour the wax. This will leave a placeholder channel for the wick at the end of the project. Next we will add color to the melted wax. Be careful as the liquid is very hot. I used silver pigment powder to make my wax appear metallic silver. You can also use a drop of black food color to turn the white wax gray. Pour the wax carefully into the mold, fill it all the way up to the top, and add your wire or bamboo skewer. You will need to save some wax, or make more, for a second pour. Let the wax cool. The wax will contract as it cools, leaving a small air pocket at the top of the mold. Once your first pour has cooled nearly completely, top the candle off with a second pour. If you don't perform this step, the finished candle will likely have a void in the middle. Once your second pour is completely cool, open the mold and remove your wire or skewer. Add the wick. Push it up through the bottom of the candle. Heat a small amount of wax at the top of the candle to secure the wick and trim it. And your Star Wars candle is done! You're ready for hours of fun as you slowly destroy the Death Star with fire. Have fun with your Death Star candle, and if you have ideas for any other Star Wars inspired crafts that you'd like to see me try, just leave me a message in the comments below. And if you want to see what comes next, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.